In this video on metadata curation, we look at the practical aspects of tag annotation in Omero. Tags are part of the metadata, as are the key value pairs. For example, in Omero Web, you find this under the right hand general tab. We have highlighted tags and key value pairs several times. They can be annotated at all levels of images and data sets or projects, and we recommended that tags are used for data organization, tags could be categorized, and that key value pairs should be used for metadata enrichment. Advanced users should look at ontology terms for annotation, which we will focus on in a later chapter. And again, be reminded that tags are linked to groups and owned by a user, which will be relevant for this topic. Since tags are owned by the user who created the tag, you should, as a research group, discuss and decide together if only one or a few persons curate the tags for all group members, or if each user should create own tags. However, this bears the risk of the redundancy. If and which tag categories might be beneficial for your use cases should be decided together. Thus, we recommend that when you use Omero together as a group, one person should curate the tags for multiple users. The tags can be created together with the users so that it really fits the research needs. Why should we use tags? Let's exemplify the problem again. If, for example, you're using a file hierarchy structure in a classical file system and you have your folder hierarchy set like this, for example here, to compare the different treatments per time point for each staining target. Now the upper hand folders are the different time points and the different staining targets, while the folders therein contain the different images for different treatments and different time points. So let's say now you would like to only search for all DMSO control treated samples for the staining target PhosphorERC and at some particular time point. You could use the search function for file names in this case to get a list of only those images. However, it very much depends on that your file naming scheme is represented correctly and it's not very handy to use for a side-by-side -side comparison. Alternatively, you could start rearranging your whole file hierarchy, just annotating the first folder to be the staining target and the particular treatment, and then having all those images in that one folder. This is not very handy, because if you would do so, you would think file path centered, so you would recreate the whole file path to the image. This does not make so much sense as just thinking of tag combinations. In Omero, you're flexible. Just use the different tags for the images and combine them in whatever arbitrary order you would like it to search for exactly the images that you need. This way, as we have shown before, you can have your original file folder hierarchy and rearrange it dynamically. In this example, the data is organized by the stained intracellular targets and the independent replications are organized in separate data sets. However, if I would like now to search for all the DMSO treated samples across all repetitions and stained targets, I can use the Tags tab to just rearrange my file hierarchy on demand. With those clear benefits for tagging in Omero, let's see how to annotate with tags. You can do this manually in Omero Web or in Omero Insight. You can do it during the data upload with the Omero importer, which is part of the Omero Insight client. Or you can use the auto tag function, which is part of the Omero Web tagging extension and must be installed by the Omero admin. There are also other additional solutions, which are not explained in detail here. Starting with manual tag annotation. To annotate data with tags, just choose the images that you want to tag and go on the right-hand panel under General to the Tags toggle. Click the plus to add a new tag. You can here now choose a tag from the list as they exist already, or you can create a new tag, including also a new tag description. Then you can add the tag with the arrow to this particular selection of images and click Save. Now any of those images will contain the tag. By hovering over a tag, you can see that any tag has an ID, an owner, information about who linked the tag, a tagging date, and optionally a description if you have added it. If you would like to annotate the tags already during the data upload in Omero Inside, you start the normal upload process in Omero Inside as we have shown before. You choose the files, select target, project, and dataset, or you create a new project or dataset, just as we have shown before. Once you're finished with this step, 
you can put the data to the import queue. Now, instead of importing the data, use the Options tab in the window as shown here. There you can add the tags to the images by clicking on the plus symbol. Here again you choose the available tags or you create new tags, similar to how we have seen it in Omero Web. When you add tags at this stage during the import, the tags are automatically applied to all the data in the import queue. The other option that is available if the correct extension is installed is the auto tag function. This can assist you in automatically extracting possible tags from your data. In this case, you change the view from the thumbnails view to the auto tag view. Omero will suggest possible tags on the basis of your file names. To apply such a tag, you can click on New Existing Tag and add the tag. Here you can select again from the available tags or create a new tag. In this view, you can choose data that should be assigned with a specific tag. AutoTag here makes pre-filled boxes as a suggestion. Optionally, you can also expand the window to have a better overview. In that case, you can see the file paths of the original import path to each individual file that you want to tag. Once finished, click Apply in the upper right-hand corner. The data now contains the new tag. Shown here is now one of the images that was marked before with the metadata window of this image. It now contains the added tag.